Hello my lovelies, I'm kind of spoilt for choice today, there's been three, count them, one, two, three, kind of role-playing scandals in a handful of days. Uh, but if I tackle them individually, I'll never catch up and they'll be completely old news. So uh, let's bam through these, shall we? Jonathan Tweet, pretty sound guy, well known in the gaming industry, just bought his uh, latest, I believe, anyway, Over the Edge, uh, co-written with, with Chris Lights, uh, a classic game from the past with a new shiny hardcover edition, well worth a purchase, in my opinion. Um, me and Tweet have conversed quite a lot, um, mostly over Google+, Plus, which kind of fit both of our temperaments, I think. He's a pretty staunch atheist, um, pretty up on evolutionary science and so on, and in a tweet that has since been deleted, Tweet tweeted uh, something about the whole the whole racial science thing, how the, the rise in race realism has come up, and how the right, the, the bad, the negative elements in society are kind of cashing in on the science and the genetics and everything, and making the left look bad because they won't even acknowledge the science and anything. Now, I've just gone through a whole bunch of arguments with far-right nutcases on my video about the Kalergi plan and uh, a, a couple of other more recent videos because they wildly and massively overstate the racial science and because they take it to mean that other people are inferior rather than just different. I mean, there are certain differences, right, that are obvious. Even if race doesn't really mean much of anything except at the extremes, at the Olympian level, where West African fast twitch muscle fibers enable them or their descendants to win sprinting for the most part, or the height of the Maasai, yeah, yeah th things like that. Intelligence, however, is way more complicated. There's all kinds of different interacting factors, different kinds of intelligence. We don't really even have a proper definition of what intelligence is or how we should we should measure it really there was a, a recent interview well fairly recent I think with Jared Diamond on Sam Harris's channel where he's saying that some of the most smart people he's ever met were tribesmen in Papua New Guinea because they're using their intelligence constantly to survive but nuance is not something that you're allowed <laughs> today you're either an alt-right Nazi or a far-left postmodern neo-Marxist something or other who's determined to cause the downfall of the West. So Tweet's mistake was making a tweet with nuance to it, bemoaning the fact that if we don't acknowledge the science, you know, the far right is going to exploit it. I've been arguing with these fucks, we can take them, but if you suppress any and all information or prevent any and all study into into these areas you're basically ceding the ground to the right to the racists to the people that want to massively overplay what differences there are in order to justify their bigotry and prejudice so knock it the fuck off and lots of companies distancing themselves from tweet for basically an entirely milk toast comment look you can't throw people under the bus the, the, the instant they say anything that causes a fuss, because saying just about anything can cause a fuss. So, Tammy Wynette, that motherfucker. There's a board game that's due to come out uh, called Reality Check, and basically it seems to be a kind of expanded an extended uh, version of my own card game privilege check kind of mixed with Monopoly or the, or the game of life or something and, and the vein of humor that it taps into is very much the same the absurdity of the hyper PC culture and uh, yeah, the, the nature of the whole privilege argument and how all these different things inter intersect and so on has many of the same jokes many similar cards like you know black friend that that sort of thing. I think you can you can see where the humour is coming from, and this is a rich vein 
uh, of nonsense and bullshit to tap to tap into to, to make a game about. I mean, people say about punching down, but this is a, a movement and a rhetoric that has so much power in society. The ability to ruin, the the ability to harass innocent board game developers, for example, with very little comeback. You know, that's that's punching up towards power to, to mock these social systems that do attempt to ruin people and um, of course as they kind of stepped up their promotion and so on everyone blew up at them rather rather predictably um, I'm wondering whether they're actually using that as a marketing gimmick but the thing is they did test their game with various minorities and so on various minorities and so on had input into it but to the mob this isn't good enough they didn't get the right kind of people to do it and, the, and there's people offering their services for pay of course to be sensitivity readers and to go over this this game it, it's it's a comedy game right it's it's there to deflate and take the piss out of all of this so a sensitivity reader runs counter to the to the intent and, and the necessary nature of the game itself so it's an unfolding situation Unfortunately, they seem to have somewhat capitulated, though they're talking about changing their messaging rather than changing the game. So there's no way, well, there's no way you're going to impede these people anyway, but you're certainly not going to appease them just by changing your tone on social media. But yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on it. Uh, do keep a, an eye on it as well uh, for yourselves. It's a reality check the board game. They have a Twitter account, there were, I think there was a Kickstarter. You can certainly find them online, but we'll see how that goes. I, I watch with interest. You remember Swordsfall, right? The, the Afropunk setting that I thought looked quite cool uh, and did a video on because I was disappointed that the guy behind it seemed to be a bit racist bit griftery going after people trying to get them to, to retweet to their, their crowdfunding uh, people like Ocasio Cortez and so on uh, this this guy is now it appears the protege of these Vihander guy who also never met a grift uh, never met a marketing attempt that he wasn't too good for wasn't too proud for uh, wasn't too ethical for and uh, they followed suit on a tactic that they also used which was an attempt to issue a, a copyright takedown uh, in this case on on my video about Swordsfall and my disappointment that the person behind it appeared to be a racist race baiting grifting low ethics person right um, now the their argument really isn't particularly convincing. I, ha I have a copy of the claim, you know, redacted from their with their address and, and phone number, of course. But it all seems to stem on use of still images, which would kill half of YouTube if it was enforced or enforceable, and the idea that my video was damaging to them in some way, and yet. Swordsful guy, uh, Brandon, I think his name is. Yes, Brandon. Um, is on record all across social media saying that, that my video attacking him, uh, expressing disappointment in him, uh, had been very good for his Kickstarter and his, and his reputation and brought him a lot of attention and so on. So trying to claim damages from something that you have simultaneously claimed to have really helped you is, uh, is so transparent uh, I, I don't think you have a hope in hell uh, of prosecuting that um, other than that the main claim is is racism and so on well if you've got a claim that your game your reputation is damaged by my opinion about your unethical actions to try and promote your game then I think I have a much better claim of damages with you going around calling me racist and, and whatever else, wherever you go. Whereas, in fact, I was complaining about racism. If there was racist imagery used in that video, I think I only used racist imagery from black supremacists like the Nation of Islam. You know, the big, the big brained Yakub, the, the mythological scientist who supposedly invented the evil white race. You know, the point being 
to demonstrate that racism is a two-way street, that there are bigots and grifters and people who will exploit hatred of any race in order to promote their own agenda or get a bit of extra bar. But uh, I don't think you're going to get anywhere with that, especially with all your comments saying it was beneficial. Better luck next time. And yeah, if you're trying to convince me that you're not a racist and you're not a grifter, this is not the way to go about it at all. How about we have a debate or something? Could be your your channel, an intermediary's channel, my channel. Don't don't care. Won't monetize it if you want. Whatever. But let's thrash these things out and talk about them. But of course, you're not interested in doing that, are you? Zang. <laughs>